Well, welcome everyone, Farmer Comp here. This is going to be my third guide when it comes to precision farming. Today, we're gonna to cover nitrogen levels and we're gonna cover using or adding nitrogen using solid fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, solid manure and slurry and or digestate. We're also gonna cover crop sensors this one. Make sure you guys watch the previous guides in order so you actually understand what we got going on as my guides are building off of each other. Um, however, having said that, um, if you guys are looking for something specific in this video regarding what I just mentioned, um, down below in the YouTube slider bar, you should be able to skip ahead to whichever uh, portion of the video you would like to. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So nitrogen levels. Every crop and soil type combination require different nitrogen levels. So if we go in here into our menu, as you know, we've been working on field 33 over here. We go, we need to go to precision farming menu, sorry. There we go. We go over to, we've been working with the pH, pH is all set. Now if we go to the nitrogen level, nitrogen is looking actually quite honestly really horrific for this whole field. But anyhow, that is the nitrogen level. This is how you can see the nitrogen level that is currently on the field. Um, so if we actually hop out of here as well and go over here, nitrogen is based on again the crop. So down there, bottom right hand corner says nitrogen bad. 25, 25 out of 180 kilograms per hectare. Still bad, still bad. Now, once we get over here to this section that doesn't have anything planted in it, you say the nitrogen is no longer bad or good or anything else like that, it just says nitrogen. That's because it doesn't know what crop is gonna be here, so it doesn't know what the nitrogen level should be. So again, bad, No, nothing over here It's gonna tell us any information. So um, yeah, again, over here, you get a lot more information. And now we have an expected yield to be planted and the yield potential. We're not gonna talk about those right now, we're gonna worry about those in future episodes. So. Um, you can adjust the nitrogen by applying fertilizer. So the first of these is manure or slurry. That's what we're going to talk about first. Manure and slurry or digestate apply. And if I talk, if I say slurry or digestate, I mean both of those. They both work the same. Um, if you apply manure or slurry, um, they apply a fixed nitrogen value based on the soil type. So essentially, they let's say um, soil type, let's say sandy loam. Um, you're going over it with some slurry or manure, it's gonna apply X amount of fertilizer on it, period. Regardless of what crop types down, period. There's no automatic adjustment or anything like that. That's just what it puts down. Now, if you go over, let's say loam then, with that same concept, it applies Y amount, which is gonna be different than sandy loam. So I don't have the exact values uh, readily available as far as what it puts down, uh, but those are essentially what's gonna happen. So if we hop in, well, we have a manure spreader over here. We'll hop in this guy right quick. And what we're going to do is we're going to do just a row across showing you that it doesn't change what is being applied except other than the soil type. So go down there, we're starting applying it. Plus 60 is what we're doing right now. Now, again, it says on there because of sandy loam. Now we're on to loam, so it's plus 80. You saw it kind of adjust and work its way up based on what we're at to now. Now, as I move over to here, it's still applying the same amount because simply, and again, it's not it's not applying it to a level. It's not gonna get us up to a level. So it doesn't apply it until you have X on there. It applies X amount. So it's just applying 80 kilograms, which is what it applies apparently on loam. So there you go. Now, if we go into our menu here, again, it just applies a straight rate across depending on the soil type. Now, if we look right here, we have a different soil type there. We go over to our soil type menu. You can see that's where the soil type changes. Therefore, that is where the nitrogen level changes as far as what's applied with manure. Now, slurry works the same way. However, slurry, you do have another extra kind of added uh, complication. So for slurry and digestate, it can vary from that even by 40%. So there'll be a 40% variable rate in there um, depending on the slurry. Now, I haven't actually tested this, confirmed there's a 40% variable, but that is what the help menu says. That is what everything I've read has said. And now the way to kind of counteract that is to adjust the amount of slurry that goes down automatically using a a sensor. So if we go into the store, I can actually show you this in here. If we go down to one of our slurry tanks here, um, it should work for any of them. If I go in here, I hope this one of course does not have one, but a lot of these will have them you can apply. Um, there we go, manure sensing system. If I do yes on that, it is $10,900 period. What it does says the John Deere manure sensing will detect the nitrogen in your manure as the nitrogen in the manure is never homogeneous, it's heterogeneous. Um, the sensor guarantees the application of the same nitrogen amount all over, all over the field. So that is gonna kind of fix that. So now instead of having that 40% variable, it's gonna have it fixed up for you just right. Now this one does have it on there. And again, if I hop in here, it's going to apply a straight up rate all the way across this field. So if I go ahead and, we'll just actually come down to this end for a little bit closer. It's not gonna vary based on the crop type or the soil type or anything like that. It's just going to apply a fixed rate based on the soil type. So that's all it's gonna do. So if we come over here, loop around, and nitrogen, by the way, is probably one of the most complicated features in um, 
precision farming. So if you can figure out nitrogen just fine, which nitrogen really isn't even that complicated to be honest, um, then you should be good to go with everything else. But this is probably the most difficult one. Again, you can see plus 80 because we're on loam. Now it'll change and kind of vary as we go across into the next soil type. You'll see it start to change here. There we go, okay, it's going down a little bit. Now it's plus 70 because 65, there we go, because we're on sandy loam. Because it was, it was a mixture before that, but now we're on 60 because sandy loam, so there we go. Now if I raise that up, there you go. So again, it just applies a fixed rate across. You can see where the line is for soil. Now this is a little bit different, not because it applied more or less, that's because the starting out nitrogen was different. So again, this just applies a fixed amount of nitrogen regardless. So just be aware of that. We're gonna get this guy out of the way. Now the next thing we're gonna talk about is we're gonna talk about um, the solid liquid fertilizer. Now a couple other things to note with this, the help menu recommends applying manure and or slurry um, before, or digested, excuse me, before planting, but you can still do it after as I just did. I just planted it after. If you apply it before, make sure you're aware that you will still want to, um, you'll, well, first off, you'll want to try to get it up to the ideal nitrogen, so you won't want to go above that. So you want to know what nitrogen um, levels you'll need for each plant. Again, I don't have like a chart or anything for you right now as far as that goes. I haven't done a lot of testing into it. I will do more testing in the future. Um, and you will likely need to still apply more nitrogen later on, depending on what the nitrogen levels are. So you may still have to apply solid or liquid fertilizer. But again, you won't have to apply as much, so it'll still kind of counteract that. Remember that in precision farming, we no longer have fertilizer states on the fields. We now have nitrogen levels, so it kind of changes it up. Now, if we go over to applying solid fertilizer, you can apply it using um, either, I mean, you can use anything to apply it. Liquid, you can use a liquid fertilizer applier or a solid fertilizer applier, any one of the ones in base game you can use. Now, I do have a crop sensor on the front of this, which we're gonna talk about in a little bit here. But if we just focus on the solid and liquid fertilizer, you're gonna apply it as normally. But if I open up the help menu, up there it says deactivate automatic application rate. If I deactivate that, I now have a K and an M up there. It says change application rate. I don't wanna change the application rate or do any of that. I just want it to do it for me. Now look, as we go through here, even though we've already applied some nitrogen, you see down there, nitrogen level is still bad here. And then up here, it's still bad. So, and even worse in areas where we didn't get anything probably. We go up here to the top, you can see it's even worse up here. Now, what the solid fertilizer is gonna do or liquid fertilizer when it's set to automatically apply the correct amount, it's going to go through and it's going to apply exactly what is needed. So if we use this, we turn it on, it's automatically applying the correct amount. Oop, I can't, not even on the right one there. There we go. I have it activated there. You'll see it change how much it's applying in the uh, bottom left-hand corner, the kind of the center left-hand side of the screen. It's applying what needs to be applied to get it to the perfect level. Now, as we go across these three sections here, we're gonna go ahead and turn it off here, pop out. You can see the nitrogen level is perfect across all of the areas we went across here. So perfect, perfect, perfect which is what we wanna to get to. And you can see it's a lot greener there because it's up more where it needs to be for this crop that we have on here, which is wheat. Now, if we went over and applied it over on the other side of the field, it wouldn't really do anything. Um, and we'll show you that here in a second. Now, if we hop in the fertilizer spreader here, which I can get going here, again, it has that deactivate automatic application. We're gonna leave it to automatic. We're going to apply going across like this. And you can see, it's, you can see where that uh, soil line is. It's gonna slowly apply what needs to be applied. Now, if I go over here where there's nothing, I can still turn this on, but it's just applying a fixed rate, applying whatever it feels like it kind of needs to. It doesn't know what to apply. So it's just kind of applying what it would be for the previous one on here. So it had wheat on here previously, so it's applying it for wheat again, since it doesn't really know what to do. And as we hop out, oh, I'm stuck under the underside of this. There we go. Um, if we hop out over here, it just has a nitrogen level. So it did apply it for as if we were gonna plant wheat. And it does that because we had wheat on here before and it was harvested, but it doesn't know what crop type's gonna go on here. So it kind of can't apply it. So that's why if you're gonna do liquid or solid, you need to do it after you actually plant the field so it knows what to apply. Uh, but as far as all that goes, let's talk about crop sensors before we wrap it up. There are two types of crop sensors, active or passive. So if we go in the store, the active one is located under miscellaneous right here the proactive and it has some cool customizations as far as some weights and different stuff go on it but what this does you can use this at daytime and or or day and nighttime so you can use that day or nights the passive one you can only use during the daytime this one day or night what the crop sensors do they both do the same thing we'll talk about that in a second now the passive one you go to any tractor you'll have the option for an Assyria pro contact you can add it on there there you go you have the contact on there adds these little things to the mirrors you can see those are on there and a little antenna on the top there uh, but that's what's going to be the passive one. You can only use that during the daytime. What it does is it measures the nitrogen levels of the crops as you're going over in more real time. And what it does is it allows you to apply even more accurate 
the amount of nitrogen needed. Now again, in those areas where we applied over here, it does say perfect under it, but this will be even better than that by a little bit. So it'll, and it's just simple. You just have to have this on the front of your equipment basically and it'll just do it for you. So there's not really any extra steps you have to do or you have to have it again affixed to your mirrors and then you can just do that in your customizations. But it will give you even a higher yield if you do it that way. Um, so definitely recommend using the crop sensor if you can. And that's just how it goes. But yeah, that is everything you need to know as far as nitrogen goes. If you have any questions, drop it down in the comments. There's a good chance I probably missed something important uh, just with doing these videos and it all being new to me as well as to you guys. Um, I'm trying to cover it as best as I possibly can. But in the next video, we will go over um, weeding and the environmental score, which I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to the environmental score. So we'll get to that. But anyhow, that's everything you need to know as far as adjusting nitrogen levels and using precision farming and farming simulator 22 regarding nitrogen. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.